Hey, YouTube. Well, people seem to be pretty happy with Donald Trump. They, he's become their beloved John Wayne, you know. Okay, here's why I don't think this is necessarily great news that this man has dropped these bombs on these people. I do feel for the Syrian people that they're, they're being gassed and so forth, and it's, it's horrible the things that are going on over there, although I don't totally understand the fight, why they continue to continue to want to kill each other. So I'm not a big war advocate, and I don't, I don't follow it very closely. It's, it seems very painful to me uh, sometimes to try to understand things that involve a lot of vi that kind of violence. So having said all that, I don't see as no good thing at all that Donald Trump felt one way about Syria, about not going into Syria, campaigned on it, talked about it for years before he started campaigning on it, criticized every move of Barack Obama made towards uh, uh, an action in, 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 in the country. He criticized everything he did. He said he, that uh, he should be more, more uh, he should stay out of Syria, don't get involved, don't do anything. And now someone shows him a picture. He sees the same picture that we see, the clip uh, that we saw this week on, on CNN, in, in MSNBC, and I'm sure Fox, whatever. He saw that and immediately bombed him. That is not good news. I think it's horrible news. You mean to tell me we have a president that is so reactionary that if he sees something that disturbs him in an instant, just like with Twitter, he would just hop on Twitter and, and and just put anything in there. In the middle of the night, three, four, five o'clock in the morning, he'll tweet something out. It just came to his head. And he means I mean, he feels that same way about war. He feels the same way. He, he reacts in the same way with Twitter as he does with causing war. Or, 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 I mean, they, they dropped 59 bombs. I mean, 59, what do you call those things? Missiles. Because he saw a picture. Now, during the campaign, people one of the one of the one of the talking points was this man would have his hands on nuclear, on nuclear codes, right? And people said, "What? Well, he's not that crazy. Surely he wouldn't be the one who." I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I seem much more, more doubtful now. If he can react that swiftly, if he can drop bombs that swiftly. They say only only nine people were 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 killed. We didn't know how many people were going to be killed. He he didn't know he didn't know that. He didn't go in the building and count the people. It could have been a, a, a hundred nine. At any rate, he could call the war with just a thought coming into his mind. He could be that impulsive about dropping fifty nine missiles anywhere. It's not the issue. Is not the situation in uh, in Syria. That's not the issue. The issue is that he's able to make a decision that quickly without seeking any approval, just in the middle of the night, just bomb him. That's a dangerous person. That is one dangerous... This made, this made me feel secure. It all makes me feel insecure. Now, they may be telling him, oh, it was a presidential move. Oh, he's showing the power of the United States. America's back in the ga game. Somebody blow your legs off. Uh, because of a game. There are real lives over there. Real lives at stake. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily that it shouldn't have been an action there, but I think it should have been a planned, well thought out action if we were going to go into another country and drop 59 bombs. I don't think it should be made a decision that could be made in a day because someone saw a picture. They're in war. There have probably been pictures the whole damn time, the last seven, eight years. If you took time to see it, I'm sure that the, uh, I'm sure that the, the military has more horrifying pictures than what we saw on television. Certainly more horrifying uh, than, than than could be broadcast from television. It's always been there. So I don't think it's great news. I'm just emphasizing that we all have an opinion. I, I don't, I'm not no study person. I don't understand uh, war and things like that. I, I hate the idea of war, but I know this is the real world. But I, I, I strongly prefer someone like Obama who's going to think about what he does before he does it. He's going to attempt to do the right thing. This man, he didn't even consult his Congress or people who working in his cabinet. He just said, uh, drop the bombs. This is his power play. I have the power. That is a dangerous person. 
So I would suggest that the original argument, this person could have his hands on a nuclear codes, is a very valid concern. Valid. If you can just hop up out of the bed and just say, drop bombs on, on, on another country without any thought, any deliberation, nothing. Completely turn your, your whole thinking around in an instant. That's a dangerous person. That is a dangerous person. That's the kind of people, people who are capable of murder because they react. I'm not, don't start with me. Don't be sending me shit about I accused the president of some, uh, some heinous crime. That's not what I said. I'm just saying he seems to me to be a very impulsive type person, and even when it, inclu it, it involves war, missiles, bombs. This is a person who's going to be dealing with other countries who he is so, he, now the country is giving him such, such a hurrah, 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 because he dropped, dropped, dropped all these missiles on his, on, on his other place, which we probably don't, feel, don't, don't fully understand. I'm sure he doesn't. They're building up, up around there, right? That means that the next time there's a situation, he'll do it again because he feels like, oh, the country loves it when I do this. If When I get off track or I get so many scandals going, here's a way out. I'll just do a military action. People die, so what? How much, how much is the cost of 59 missiles? And what's the payoff? Oh, I taught him a lesson. Think about what you're doing, Trump. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. No, you can't have people like, you have to have a, a, an even, uh, just a thinking person, is all I would say. Because I know that he has military, he has a whole team of, of military people there who who have been uh, in, in these crises for seven, eight years, the whole, the full extent of, of their revolt, of their, their wars over there. They know the situation. But he's not even going to talk to them. And he has the power to just order assaults or attacks and doesn't even bother they shouldn't be happy with him he should be brought up in front before congress in the senate explain why you did this why is it okay to do this i mean what's the checks and balances why do we even have a government which you sound like a dictator and of course in the background here we go to the russia thing again we don't know what's coordinated between them guys we don't we don't know shit. We don't know nothing. You can't trust what Donald Trump says. He makes up his own facts, his own reality. He's already told you. He has alternative facts. In other words, whatever I say is the truth, is the truth. I just make it the truth. I'm the president. Told the people, that's why I'm president and you're not. Arrogantly. Watch out. For, don't be building this man up when he has done something stupid. Just call it out. And say, you were supposed to go through Congress. You were supposed to put somebody's eyeball on this thing before you ordered missiles. Dropped on it. Put, although it didn't bother the the, uh, the, the uh, ability for the planes to land. So we don't know. We know you've already trained us that we can't trust anything you say. So we don't know what motivations were or anything. I, I just think it's a very scary move. And uh, I'm not cheering about it at all. All right, people. Have a good time. I mean, have a good day. I apologize for my sound. Uh, I did. I get all these microphone problems now. I did order some of these filters that are supposedly in the mail. So we'll see. Later.